Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to see how to set up a flex gateway as a docker container in the local mode. In my previous video, we have already seen what is universal API management, why we require the universal API management and what are the benefits we can get out of the universal API management. So as a part of universal API management, we have discussed flex gateway and API governance. Then later we have also discussed how to set up a flex gateway as a docker container in connected mode. And later we have also seen how to publish a multiple APIs to your flex gateway. In this video, we will focus on how to set up flex gateway as a docker container in the local mode. So what is the difference between connected mode and the local mode? In connected mode, your flex gateway is managed by any point platform. So basically you can see your flex gateway in any point platform. You can apply any out of box, any point monitoring, API analytics, and even you can apply any out of box policy directly from any point platform. In case of local mode, you have to manage your flex gateway using YAML descriptor file. So in case if you want to apply any policy, you have to add that policy in your YAML descriptor file. If you want to publish any API to your flex gateway in the local mode, you need to add that particular API or, or that particular API implementation URL in the YAML descriptor file. So let's start. So for creating the flex gateway, the first thing we require to set up a connected app. So basically as, as we discussed in our previous video, so there are three authentication modes supported by Flex Gateway. One is any point platform username and the password. Secondly, auth token. And lastly, it also support a connected app. So let me go to Google and just uh, let me just uh, like, let me open the document which provides the step-by-step -step approach to install the Flex Gateway as a local mode. So I can simply write Flex Gateway Docker MuleSoft. So MuleSoft provide a very good documentation, step-by-step uh, -step documentation for setting up the Flex Gateway. So here, let just let review the prerequisite. So what are the prerequisite for setting up the Flex Gateway in the Docker container? So you will be requiring a Docker desktop or you can have a Docker engine on your machine for running or for installing the Flex Gateway in the local mode as well as in the connected mode. Okay, so let's start. The first step we need to install or we need to download the flex gateway image so you can simply pull this image you know so what i can say docker pull and i can go to my command prompt and i'll just put i will say at the rate of latest okay so let's remove the latest so in my case it will not take much of the time why because I already have a downloaded a flex gateway image. You can, you can go to Docker container or Docker desktop. Under the images, you can see a flex gateway 1.1.0. It's there. In your case, it may take few minutes for installing or for pulling the image. Or otherwise, you can use the Docker images command to see the all the images available in your Docker engine. So here you can see I already have a uh, MuleSoft slash flex gateway. Secondly, before I register my flex gateway in the local mode, I will use the connected app. So I will require to create a connected app. So for creating the connected app, you can go to runtime manager. In runtime manager, you can go to access management. Under access management, you can see there is something called connected app. Under the connected app, you can say create app. So once you select create app, you have to provide the name. I will say demo flex. Then either you can select app act on a behalf of a user or app act on its own behalf. So I will use the client credentials one. So basically like, you know, so like it, it's a bit a simple of like, you don't have to generate the tokens and everything. So you can use the client credential. Now you have to provide the permission to this particular uh, connected app. So for that, just make sure like what kind of permission we need to provide. So first you have to provide a read server, manage server, then view environment and view organization. So let me check where is a view, view organization view environment simply say next now you have to select a business group in which you have to create this uh, connected app i will select self and environment sandbox i will say review add scope and simply say save once i will click on save it will generate a connected app with client id and the client secret okay so now we will start registering our flex gateway so i will simply click register and run with the connected app in the docker container so just copy this particular command and just paste it on your notepad and we will start doing the changes. The first thing we have to change PWD. In Windows, it doesn't understand a PWD, so we can give an absolute path. So I have already created one folder, Flex Gateway Local, you know. I will just click co copy this and I will just replace this. If you are using the Linux, 
so, so you don't have to change so pwd means a current path now i have to provide a client id so basically i have just now created connected app i can copy id and i can just replace this particular text with a client id the next thing i have to provide a client secret i will copy this client secret i will just replace it the next thing you want environment id and organization id so there is a two way either you can find it from access management a best way as per me you can go to api manager and from the information you can find all these details uh, like client uh, organization id and your environment id yeah you can see this i you can click here get copy the environment id and i will just replace this text with the environment id then you want a organization id it's nothing it's a business group id copy this just go there and just replace it okay now you have to provide a flex gateway name demo flex local one now i will bring everything into a single line like in windows like it doesn't understand this particular command so i have to bring everything into the single line okay make sure you have you are giving the proper spaces and everything at the right place remove this slash also wherever you find the slash at the end you can remove this just copy this command and run on your command prompt i will say cmd just paste it enter so it start registration please be patient it take 20 to uh, 15 seconds maybe sometime more okay your flex gateway has been successfully registered right let me check whether i can see my flex gateway in runtime manager i think we should not because we are setting up flex gateway in the local mode Okay, sandbox flex gateway so there is a no flex gateway has been registered this is the older one and what is our flex gateway name it's a demo flex local one so no flex gateway is registered here now i can go to my docker container or docker in desktop you can see there is a one flex gateway is created one replica of flex gateway is created but it's in stop state now now we have registered our flex gateway so it will create a file called registration.yaml which contains some information which for communication purpose you know so and also certificates and all those details so this file is very important for for like creating the replicas of your flex gateway so let me quickly move to the other command so where i have to create a replica of your flex gateway i will copy this command simply and i will just paste it here i have to give a absolute path where my registration.yaml is available so i will copy this path and i will simply replace this particular path absolute path with your with this text with the absolute path then i will just change the port 8081 to 8081 it means like my replica will be running on port 8081 and it will be forward the traffic to the application which is running on port 8081 so i am like you know okay as simple as that open other command prompt have i changed the port yes i have let's wait it doesn't take more than 5 to 10 seconds you know everything will be up and running you you should see it will create a new replica on port 8081 okay so you can see that this is in running state if you want a multiple replicas you can simply change the port 8082 so i am deploying my replica on port 8082 and i can forward the traffic to 8081 copy this then i can simply go back to other command prompt or if i have any open command prompt it's there i can go there so why we create a multiple replicas so with multiple replicas you can achieve high availability scaling and a good performance or high performance basically so you can see the other replica is also created on port 8082 that's good so we have successfully set up a flex gateway as a docker container in the local mode right in next video we will be focusing on how to publish a apis to this particular flex gateway as it running in the local mode So we will going to see how to create a YAML descriptor file and how to run that YAML descriptor file. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please click on like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.